Okay, now we see Griffith. We see him say hi. Say hi. It's pretty much like anime. And there he is. Get a little close up of that. <clears throat> oh my god, the beep. Eh, expressionless, focused. You know how he is. Guts is pissed as usual. Let's see. Okay, did I read this right? Yeah, it's uh, what up, right, down, and then left. Today I learned I can't read manga properly. Because I tend to just want to see the whole thing. Like, as one big picture. Or just go downward, left to right. Just, <laughs> it takes such getting used to. Uh, I really don't read manga, like, not like this. Like, this is really the only manga that... I've really started and then really read it. Like, I might have owned other manga, and I do, but this is the only one that I've actually read. So this is actually Baby's first manga, like for reals. Not so much purchase, but to read. So Casca, Griffith, here he comes. Yeah, Guts, Griffith, that's what she said. That's his name. <laughs> And of course, Corcus is all like, ah, oh, this is the end. Yeah, shut up. Yes, it's established that Guts is pretty tough. So would you lower your sword? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. He's not going to, silly. And you know it. And you're up against someone on horseback, Guts. We know you felled people like that before, but this is different, dude. But he doesn't think so. Let's see, Gut swings and and is blocked, and he um let's see lets the sword slip down and guts fall. So that's a deflection. He blocks it, deflects it. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, smart. And then he retaliates by stabbing guts yeah what <laughs> yeah exactly yeah this might have been better presented in the anime if I that's where I think anime has an advantage it's it's an emotion but we see him get stabbed there's Griffith looking at him he looking down at you got all oh, you got stabbed in the uh, underarm I think that's what it looks like, I can't tell. Underarm. He rides away with his bloody saber. Like, nothing's happened. Oh. Yeah, he sure is quick. You just now noticed? And everybody's happy. Oh, and they're all like, yeah, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> I want Jim Norton's recording of this. <laughs> and he cheers as Chip Chipperson. Yay! Yay! And he's not saying anything. Just wide-eyed and just... Like, shut the fuck up, really. Yeah, amazing, whatever. And then, ah, uh, Corcus. He was a fool taking Griffith's head on like that. But, to be fair, Guts did not know what... Griffith was like at this point, so Corcus, you can shut your stupid ass mouth. Yee. And then Casca, ah, excuse me, who do you think Griffith put his life on the line for anyway? Oh, you, Casca. Hmm, <laughs> I'm sure. If you don't know how deep the water is, don't jump in. Yeah. Yeah. That's and try not to drive in floods, because, um,. You know, that's a bad idea, too. <laughs> it's... Uh, let's see. Oh, she has the sword to his throat, which is her way of saying, shut the fuck up. And then she wants Griffith to back her, and he kind of does. He has. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> ah, Corcus. You couldn't take on Costco or the shit. And here her hair is a bit shorter. Yeah, it's like a... Make a boy, really. Well, I don't blame her, though. I think it's practical. Oh, no, his guts. Griffith's just watching him. Like, what's with that guy? Well, what's with him is he got stabbed and he's losing blood. That's what's with him. He's still... Oh, he's still trying to walk toward him. Okay, she's about to attack, and that's a no-go. And he... Oh, my God, he's going to try again? 
Now, I don't recall seeing that in the anime. Guts is pissed at Griffith because he's looking down at him and Guts is looking upward with rage. Here he looks very calm and Guts looks pissed as usual. And he's swinging and... Uh, oh, he falls down. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Bummer, Guts. <laughs> oh, he's taking off his helm. I saw this in the anime. Oh, looky. Oh, he's so pretty. We know. We get it. He did be a pretty, pretty boy. And Guts is looking upward because he can't help it. And then he faints. It's just watches him expressionless. And that's the end of Golden Age 4. Hurrah. And Guts is still angry. Because he's always angry. Like the Hulk. Aw, oh, would you guys just kiss already? <laughs> ah, Golden Age Chapter 5. And what the hell is that? It's like the... Um, the hell? It's the abominable snowman. Looks like a clay thingy with muscles chasing after a little naked boy holding a sword. Uh, yeah. Next. And then the snowman, I guess Bazuzo snowman is trying to grab him and Nakey Gut slices off a part of his hand and oh what the fuck and then he sees Gambino sitting on with his doggy and he's like save me save me ah oh, Guts you have to be your own white knight sorry damn even as a kid he's pretty ripped <laughs> and Gambino of course doesn't oh what the shit what? I said, that's my right leg you've got in your hand. But the, well, without that, I can't even swing a sword and then the sword turns into a leg. <laughs> well, that's some dream there, kiddo. <sighs> well, yeah, he's dead and gone now with the doggy. And then he takes off his head. It hurt a lot, even to death? Is that what it says, to death? Even the d oh, I'm sure his uh, head, I guess he doesn't like it very much. And then the doggy is Shisu. Oh, yikes. Who'd help the creep who caused all this anyway? Right, Shisu? Uh, I guess Guts is subconsciously blaming himself. Aww. Ugh. He's trying to explain himself, but that big stay puffed marshmallow thing with glowy eyes comes after him <laughs> it's good and it's uh, Donovan I guess and oh wow no he's calling out to Gambino and they're skeletons now saying he should have died and he's begging for forgiveness well nah I wouldn't bother oh you should have died no don't die don't touch me, stop. Don't touch me. And because he thinks it's that rapist, but it's not, it's Casca. Yeah, it's a woman with dark eyes. Okay, here it doesn't say anything about a fortune teller, like the anime does. If I recall correctly, saying like a four, you'll have a, a lover with dark eyes, but manga doesn't say anything about it. I don't think, no. And she's not there. Where am I? Yeah. Oh, now you remember, because Griffith took off his helm. That's a pretty shot. How they kind of mingle here. Like, juxtaposition, I think is what it's called. It's nice. I'm biased, though. So he wakes up. Yeah, you're with the mercenary band. They're talking, carrying on really young though yeah this is a young group and you're like 15 dude like <laughs> you're young and then there's Costco talking to Griffith like that's that's and she oh, they look so casual he has his hands in his pockets and she's kind of not very happy and he tries to comfort her She's having none of them. She's like, nah, fuck it. Fuck you. She waltzes over to Guts. Yeah, that's her with the dark eyes. And she punches his face off. 
Oh, his wound off. Dude, not cool. Dark. <laughs> yeah, she punches him. Ha, <laughs> yeah. But here, like, the way she looks here, it just looks so impish. Like, she looks like an imp. A very pissed off imp. <laughs> I wish you died after Griffith was through with you. Aww. She's upset. It's only natural, says this guy here, who is Judo. Arkoska gave up being a woman so she could be a mercenary long ago. I don't think she's the only one. I mean, as far as we know in Berserk she is, but I think in reality she probably wasn't the only. You didn't have to, well, I don't know how to say it really, but I think you could probably kick ass and take names and that doesn't make you any less of a woman. Like, Brianna Tarth could probably kick a lot of ass and she wouldn't even consider, like, giving up being a woman like she doesn't have to but she's also like six foot three and can beat the shit out of pretty much anybody <laughs> but what I'm trying to say though is it's more like being a woman's not the problem anyway this is in truth she's a much better swordsman than the men here yeah like that's kind of obvious like that should have been painfully obvious yeah wait a minute <clears throat> That should have been pain. <laughs> like, we know that. But, sadly, I guess and you have to... In those days, and even now, like, sometimes you kind of have to hide being a woman. Happens fairly often on the internet, too. Because they're sadly treated a bit differently and not always for the better. Judo. Okay, in the anime, Casca explains it. But here it's Judah who does. She had to sleep with you. Oh, man. See, by Griffith's order, she had to sleep with you for two days and two nights in order to warm up your body since she'd gone cold from losing so much blood. Warming a man is a woman's duty, he said. Oh, God, that pissed me off. When it was mentioned in the anime, I got really upset. Like I'm like, dear Griffith, you have failed. Fail. God, that's so... But, this was a bit of a problem that people had, and it was explained that, well, who else was going to do it? Like, Griffith himself? Well, I bet he wanted to, but it would have been a bit awkward, to say the least, And but who else was going to do it? But he didn't have to say that it's a woman's duty. Because in saying that it's a woman's duty, it's kind of inflammatory. <laughs> yeah, like, I know I'd be pretty pissed. But again, you know who else was going to do it. In truth, it was how Griffith was trying to protect his, uh, his newest member of the Hawks. Oh my god. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> That's, uh... And we're in a very busy area, so that's kind of why you might hear things. Or if anybody did hear that. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> what the hell you doing, Judo? Someone asks, did that wake you up? And Judo's like, sorry, sorry. And who is this? Oh, it's Griffith. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. I thought that was someone else. I couldn't really tell. But... Judo's explaining, and then you see someone here, like, who is asking what the hell you doing, Judo? And Judo's about to fall off his chair, like, sorry, sorry, and, oh, poor guy. But I can't see Griffith saying something like, doing. Yeah, that's, I'm thinking that might have been someone else who said it. But anyways, is, did that wake you up? That's probably Griffith, and Guts looks... And it is Griffith. <laughs> and so I'm thinking someone else asks, what the hell you doing, Judo? And then Griffith asks, did that wake you up? Sounds about right. <laughs> At least that's how I see it. And so he's approaching him and introduces himself. And got, yeah, so introduction. He gives him back his sword. And then he compliments it. It's an amazing sword. 
I could never wheel. Ha! <laughs> this is where, like, I think Griffith is just definitely not, like, a pathological narcissist, because here he admits that he has limitations. Like, I could never wheel it. You know, it's true. A pathological would have denied that. Like, they would never admit to having limitations, and he admits that. Oh, he looks so adorable. But it's it's also, like, the truth. Like, can you, can you imagine Griffith with a big fucking sword? <laughs> that would be fail and not work. And he knows it. I know it. Like, my doggy knows that. <laughs> my doggy died years ago. And Yellow Dog knows it too. Anyway, he asks Guts to accompany him. Judo is like, hmm, yeah, weird. And mercenaries are trying to cover themselves, like, oh my god, no! Like, I'm bathing! Casca sees it. She's wondering what's going on. Shaw, what the heck's Griffith thinking? Shut up, Corcus, saving a creep like that. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Corcus. It was your idea to attack Guts to begin with. You can kiss my ass. And then someone says maybe he's making an ally. And then we say hello to Rickard. Aww. I mean, he was incredibly strong. On our side, I'll bet he'd really help with battles. I agree. Yeah. Aw, Corcus is mean. He kicks him. This is quit spouting that crap. How about you quit spouting your crap, asshole? He cut off Errol's arm and killed Dante. How can we just leave him be after that? Well, it's quite simple, really. You attacked him to begin with. See? Yeah, Rickard's right. Like, you're the ones who started it. And let's see what Pippin has to say. Oh, Jesus. His arms are folded and he's like... You can suck my dick, Gorkus. And Casca's standing there. Griffith is walking guts somewhere. So he asks who they are, and you know, they don't seem to like him. And this is the Band of the Hawk. I think the official translation is actually the Falcon, but it's been known as the Hawk for so long. Yes, Band of the Hawk. You know of us? And Guts admits that it's just rumors. The Band of the Hawk. One of the last Merc groups you ever want to meet up with on the battlefield. Yeah, thanks to them being on the other side, this last castle siege should have been over in three days, but it took over three months. Still, I never noticed it during battle to think they'd all be so young. Yeah, uh, you know, older than you, though. I mean, I think Rickert's probably the only one who's younger. I do think Casca's older than Guts, like I've always believed, by about a year. So, anyway, eh, <laughs> you're among the younger ones, Guts, so you're not one to talk. Anyway, ah, what have you, yeah, isn't it nice on the hill? Yeah, I guess it looks better from above. Not a, I mean, this, I think if Miura drew this, like, now, it would look a lot better. Just saying. Why? And Guts asks why. Basically, why didn't you kill me? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> and he looks at him and says, Because I realized I want you, Guts. I want you inside of me. <laughs> well, actually, you know, at, at this point, like, I don't think there was like anything like romantic or erotic involved here. I think he saw a powerful soldier and decided, holy shit, I want this guy, he will be useful. The um, other things happen, you know, they're hinted at later, but that's only going by what I know, which admittedly is either biased or I haven't seen it in full context. So, in any way, he wants you Guts, he does. And, uh, <laughs> oh, he says, are you a homo? <laughs> yeah, sure. And Griffith kind of sweats it and looks away. But here's the thing. Suppose for a second if Griffith was in fact homosexual. What does that have to do with anything? That doesn't mean that he's necessarily attracted to you. Like, it's completely irrelevant. Like, that doesn't, that's just, it's not relevant. Like, 
<laughs> Jesus goats. Yeah, he's 15. And Griffith admits, you know, he saw the fight. He says, unfortunate enough to watch your one-on-one -on -one combat with Bazuzo. It was admirable, but it was dangerous. Yeah, obviously. Uh, if Bazuzo's axe hadn't cracked, it would have been you with the cloven head. Oh yeah, that's true. But I thought he missed. That's what I was thinking. But I guess not. <laughs> Probably a lot of guts. And it's kind of similar to what you see in the anime. Like the way you fight, it's almost as though you're gambling on your own life. Yeah, that's totally true. Guts knows it too. You didn't budge an inch against a monster like Bazuzo or multiple opponents like Corcus's group. Nope. Instead, you run in reckless, recklessly sword swinging. It's no doubt courageous. I agree. It's also foolhardy, but hey, I'm not guts, so. But it seems that while intentionally exposing yourself to the risk of death, you're also struggling to make it out alive. Well, no shit. That's how it felt to me. Well, look, nobody, nobody wants to die, okay? <laughs> yeah, just saying. And Guts is quiet. You're interesting. Yeah, so's your butt, Griffith. <laughs> They're interesting. Ah, oh, look at this. That looks so cute. It's, I've taken a liking to you. Oh, you look so adorable here. Aw, oh, does it take a liking to you? Ah. Oh. Yeah, you have. I bet you have. But, like I said before, at this point, I don't think that it's romantic or erotic. I think it's more like, you're such a great soldier, dude. <laughs> like, you would just be godlike with us. And then he says it again, I want you, guts. <laughs> and later on, I will want you inside of me. <laughs> just kidding. Except not really, but I'll get to that later. Oh, Casca is like, nah, -uh. Guts is pissed, 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 pissed. Oh, and if I say no, of course he refuses. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, figures. Like, even if, like, I've never seen the anime or went in 100% blind, I would know he'd say that, duh. He's always been into, I mean... For about four years, really, he's been on his own. Like, why would he give that up to join? So, Griffith, do you? I look at him, his eyes are like, No! What is this no you speak of? Like, no, that I've never heard of this no. <laughs> like, what is this no? Like, I don't think Griffith is accustomed to being told no. Like, no. <laughs> and Guts screams at him, you bet your ass hell no. Like, talking like you know who I am. What do you know anyway? And Griffith looks shocked, you know, because, yeah, this is the first time someone has told him off like this. At least I think so. What can you know when we've never even met? And Griffith admits, and there's some weird background here. I don't know what the hell that is. This is I don't know at all. It's just the way I felt. Aw, you have feelings. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, this makes me sick. I think I would have reacted the same way. Like, that's my first instinct. Like, when I'm asked to join, like, I usually don't. It's like, no. <clears throat> this is... And he's... You stabbed me and now you're all buddy-buddy? You're the ones who attacked me. I've got no intention of just forgetting that. And I killed one of your men, so I'm not about to tell you to forget that either. Fair enough. I still think Guts has never been, like, a joiner type. Like, wait, let me try that again. Like, obviously, as a kid, he grew up among mercenaries, but once he struck out on his own, I think he pretty much ceased being a joiner. <laughs> the freelancing for many... At least that's how I could, I, how I see it. That's my impression. Because when he was up against Bazuzo, I, I really don't think he was part of any group. Wow. Don't tell me I have to reread already. Jesus. 
So anyway, what will you do, Griffith asks, and Guts challenges him to a dick measuring contest. Oh, hooray. <laughs> Yippee. Let's see. We'll settle it with swords, basically. If I win, I'll give you a matching hole in your chest. And I think, no, it won't be matching, considering the size of that sword. But then Griffith is smiling. Oh, shit, he is. Oh, he wants that. That's just the way he likes it. And we will find out what happens later. Ha, ha, ha. Heh. <laughs> Not much later, to be honest.